Good morning. Welcome to Monday. This is the AS Exit Breakfast and I'm Rachel reporting live from Kalkine Studios. Now the Australian share market is set to rise this morning. The ASX futures are up 70 points or 1% 1 to 7,120. On Friday, the Australian share market added 0.7% to close at 7,110. Looking at business news from this morning now, and an IGO joint venture is set to acquire Essential Metals. Essential Metals and Tianqi Lithium Energy Australia are pleased to announce the execution of a binding scheme implementation agreement for the implementation of a scheme of arrangement under which TLEA will acquire 100% of the issue capital of Essential. If the scheme is implemented, each Essential shareholder on the record date will receive a cash amount of 50 cents per Essential share, implying a fully diluted equity value for Essential of around $136 million. Telix Pharmaceuticals has disclosed that they generated unaudited revenue of $76.8 million from sales of its Elucix kit for prostate cancer imaging in the United States in the fourth quarter of 2022. Now this is an increase of 39% on the third quarter of 2022 and a total of $149.7 million in revenue since Elucix launched. Now, in line with Core's transition to the lithium producer, the company has decided to relocate its corporate head office to Perth in WA. Perth is the corporate centre of Australia's lithium industry and will provide Core with better access to mining services providers, particularly those within the lithium industry experience. Perth also provides access to a deep pool of mining and project delivery talent and retains a direct and regular route to the Finnis lithium operation via Darwin in the Northern Territory. Establishment of a Perth office is anticipated to occur by mid-2023 and closure of the Adelaide office is expected by the end of the year. CORE has offered all Adelaide-based employees the option to relocate to Perth. Well, now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. Looking to America now and the Dow Jones Industrial Average increased 2.13%. The S&P 500 ended up 2.28% higher, whilst the Nasdaq Composite added 2.6%. It was the best day for the Dow and the S&P 500 since the 30th of November, and the best for the Nasdaq since the 20th of December. Now, U.S. stocks did advance on Friday. That was after the December jobs report and an economic activity survey showed signs that inflation may be cooling, signaling that the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes are showing their intended effect. Moving over and European markets closed higher, Paris rose 1.5%, Frankfurt gained 1.2% and London's FTSE closed 0.9% higher. Oil is trading 0.14% higher at $73.77 US cents a barrel. Gold is trading 1.6% higher at 1,870 US dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.